everybody. Hello, everybody. We're on day five of South day five, yep. South by Southwest 2019. Yeah. And what's on tap for today? We've already seen uh, Beastie Boys. Yeah, saw them. Yep. Um, and, keynote. Um, and then what we got the other thing today. Yeah. Uh, how to make it in the music business. Yeah, so we're trying to. Um, to DIY. DIY. Yes. Making it in the music business. Right, which of course you know is our 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 passion, our love. Yes. So uh, we're also gonna try right, her, her, what's name? her stand. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll check him out, see what he's talking about. Yeah. Um. Also, we're gonna try this place that the one of the Beastie Boys recommended for a fried chicken. Yeah, we'll Lucy's see. fried chicken. Yeah. So we'll try that, and we'll let you know how it is. Yeah. So follow along with us. Make sure we don't want you to miss anything. So. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Yeah. You know you type in Prejippy in any search engine and you can find us. That's only one thing that you're going to find. That's right. That's That's All right, right, so we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Right. Peace. Without further ado, please give a big South by Southwest welcome to Mike D, the King Ad Rock, and Nathan Brackett. Did you guys expect that to be on your resume? Uh, Hold on, I just needed, sorry. I just wanted to look at Mike's socks. Yeah, you, you know what kind of socks these are, huh? Those are the Camerons? Mike? Yeah, Cameron, the rapper. <laughs> that's, that's right. These different other weirdos are doing stuff around, around us and with us. It was like <clears throat> a place for that all to happen. <laughs> there were a couple things I learned, though, about, um, like, very specific things about, like, I remember around License to Ill. Um, which I, I thought maybe we're the closest you guys came to kind of like saying, like, you know, we want to correct the record. You can correct me if I'm wrong here, but there are a couple things about Yao yeah, producing uh, or coming up with some of the, like, the ideas, which I think are, like, some of the most memorable. As is expected, this is quite a popular topic. So, as we were talking about, the line is here, and the line is over there, and the line is over there. <laughs> line is over there. <laughs> um, and didn't want to teach high school band, so I transitioned uh, over to a music industry school in Minnesota where I studied music business and songwriting. Um, I'm a songwriter, sing songwriter. No one can define it for you. For me, success looks like doing what I love, supporting the kind of lifestyle that I want. I mean, I don't need I don't use metrics to define success for me. It's just, am I happy? Can I sustain the kind of life that I want to live? Do I love what I'm doing? Success. And they're making all this money, making thousands of dollars a month, and then they get dropped from those playlists after they'd already quit their day job. And now their, play, now their streams drop down to virtually zero. And their income drops down to virtually zero. And so then they have to go back to their boss, their old boss of their day job and beg for their job back because now they, they have no money. But there are three myths of Spotify. <laughs> Number one, that streams equal fans. That is a huge myth. Just because somebody has 10 million streams right there on the homepage of the Spotify profile does not mean they have 10 million fans. Probably means they got included on a couple big hot Spotify playlists.
peek at night downstairs into the kitchen or by the port cask finished somewhat diminished in the morning got a fast call I got a plan to get us out of here We've been working at a convenience store A minute to save just a little bit of money Okay, so we're gonna try this Lucy's fried chicken place. We're coming up on it. It was recommended in the morning session. It is even further than the taco place we tried the first day. If you missed that, check out the first video. But we're gonna try it. It's supposed to have some really good fried chicken and we will see for ourselves. Okay, so we ended up not going to Lucy's fried chicken because it was an outdoor place and there's smoking. Um, and it was super crowded. So we we're trying Magnolia Cafe, which was on the way, and something that we saw last time is in Soco. Yeah, and we might try Lucy's tomorrow. Maybe we'll try Lucy's tomorrow, but we'll see. It was quite a walk. We'll see. Yeah, we can always Uber. We can always Uber. <laughs> okay, so Bruce had the tacos, but he got two orders because they're so tiny. And my enchiladas are almost gone. Sorry, guys. And we have chips and salsa. Everything is spicy, but it's flavorful. And uh, it'll do for now. We're gonna have to have a supplement before we go to bed though. Um, <laughs> and dessert doesn't seem to be normally on the menu, but they actually do have it on a supplemental menu. So just a heads up if you're coming to Austin. All right, that was Magnolia Cafe. We're heading back now. 